Welcome to the Unapologetically Unsolvable Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Peterson. And on this podcast, we talk about how to partner with the Holy Spirit with your business and how to grow businesses with practical tips and tricks. Get ready. Here we go. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, my goodness. So I have just moved. If you don't know, I've moved probably about three months ago, and we are now in a new house in California instead of we were living in Missouri, right? And during the time I was in Missouri, I knew that there were some things that God was calling me to do, like quit my six-figure cybersecurity engineering job. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jeanette, why would you quit a six-figure job to do full-time business coaching and stuff unless you're making that and more. Side note, I'm not making more than what I was making in my nine to five. Not full transparency, not there yet. But I will tell you this. All of the stuff that I was doing in my job was blocking my blessings from God. Blocking those blessings. So what does that mean? That means that I was out of alignment with his calling. A lot of times we think, okay, well, if I just do this, I'll make some money so that way I can fund this business and then it'll take off and then I'll quit my job. That was my mindset. My mindset was, if I can just make this work, then I can quit my job. But God had been telling me, quit your job, quit your job, quit your job, quit your job. And I was like, how can I quit my job when I don't have the equal to or greater than income? Like, why would I do that? That doesn't make sense. Because God was asking me to lean on him. God was asking me to to fully rely on God. God was asking me to lean back. Lean back into God and have the faith to know that he will provide. Like, actually have that faith. Because if I was creating my own income, I'm never depending on God to create an income for me. I'm doing it in my own power. I'm doing it with my own mind, with my own hands, doing all the things myself. When we are out of alignment with God, he will never bring the provision that we were asking for or the rain or the whatever we're asking for if we're constantly doing it. If we were out in the desert and we're just asking God for, hey, God, I just need a bottle of water. But every time we are, we get a chance to, we're Amazoning it to ourselves. We're not asking God. We're not depending on God. We're taking it on our own. We're asking, but we're still controlling it ourselves. I was talking to a friend the other day and she was talking about how she was feeling about this analogy of driving a car and her faith journey, right? So she was saying, you know, like I've always been a follower of Christ. I've known Christ since I was a little kid and I was not letting Jesus take the wheel. I was, I was taking the wheel and or I was putting God in the back seat And I was not letting God take the wheel. I would sometimes ask God where we were going, and then I would go my own way. Is that you, friend? Is that you today? Asking God for things, but not actually asking? Are you asking God, but just waiting for him to do something, but not being patient enough? Is that what you're doing in your business? Are you asking God for someone to help you, but going to look for somebody every single chance you get? and hiring the wrong person over and over and over. I'm not asking you these things because I think that you're doing things wrong. I'm asking you these things because I have done every single one of those things. And I know that I, if I have done it, and I'm able to be vulnerable about those instances, then you can too. And that's where we can come together and help each other, right? And I can show you the next steps of what that looks like to fully rely on God and to have faith in him for your business. We're no BS entering a recession, but that does not mean that your income has to recess. Okay? Your income does not have to recess just because we as America are in a recession. Because I'll tell you what, in 2020, I was fully relying on God. And in that time, I had not made more money than I had ever. We had more provision, more time, 
more everything. It was a great time for the Peterson family. Now, I know that's not everybody's story, and I'm not trying to brag here. I'm just saying when I fully rely on God, when I am fully surrendered and actually sitting back, leaning back into his plan and his purpose and whatever that is, and not trying to control everything or take direction from somebody on the street, I am relaxed. My friend says, rich and rested. I am surrendered. I am feeling good and I don't have to worry about anything. That is the full freedom of Jesus. That is the freedom that we need to be feeling. And you only feel it if you're willing to let go. If you're at the end of your rope and you let it go and you trust that God will provide. Okay, friends, so I know that there's a lot of things that we can control and a lot of things we can't. But what are you going to put down this week? What are you going to rest in this week and knowing that God can provide and letting God be God? Stop taking the will from God. Let him be God and trust and you will see. Maybe not in the big thing yet, right? But but I'm not saying test God, but let him be God and let you be you. Because your purpose is so great, but you can't be God if you're in your purpose. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. Go ahead and leave a review to let everybody else know how much this episode has impacted you. And you know what? I would love to get to know you even better. So go ahead and send me a DM over on Instagram at Jeanette.Peterson or come to my free group at JeanettePeterson.com group. I'll see you guys over there.